As momentum grows for the world to eventually turn away from fossil fuels to arrest the impact of climate change, India's solar sector is being recognized for its potential around the world. According to a Woods McKenzie report, India is set to emerge as the second largest producer of solar modules by 2025. This is significant as India is slowly breaking China's monopoly in the sector. China has an 80% global share in the solar module supply chain. However, India is now taking on the dragon and the results look extremely promising. Add to that, the capacity addition in India's solar manufacturing sector is poised to primarily cater to US's demand. While India's own capacity to manufacture solar modules is rising fast, it is being complemented with a simultaneous reduction in imports of such modules from China. By the end of the current financial year, India is expected to add 16 to 17 gigawatt solar capacity to its kitty. Between March 2018 and October 2023, India's solar power witnessed a three-fold increase. India aims to have an installed solar power capacity of 280 gigawatts by 2030, which means the country needs to add about 27 gigawatts annually. So a lot of scaling up still remains. The Indian government has taken a series of measures in recent years to boost not just the share of solar power in the country's energy basket, but also to radically increase India's share in global solar manufacturing. Perhaps the move which has had the most profound impact on the sector is the centre's decision to impose a 40% basic customs duty on solar modules and 25% on solar cells. Other initiatives include the approved list of models and manufacturers. The mandate has also played a pivotal role in stopping the overflow of Chinese modules in Indian markets. Another mega move by the Modi government is a production-linked incentive scheme which has infused new energy in India's solar manufacturing sector. But there are plenty of challenges. India is not performing up to the mark when it comes to rooftop solar systems, in the sense that the uptake of such systems remains quite low. Installing a 1-2 to two kilowatt system costs about 43,000 rupees per unit, which is quite expensive for most Indians. US President Joe Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, which has sweeping provisions to boost domestic renewable energy manufacturing, is expecting to also result in American manufacturers picking up production of solar power systems. So, New Delhi must immediately begin seeking newer markets for its products. India's transition towards renewable energy sources will take time. However, that does not mean that the transition is not already in place. In fact, in the first half of 2023, India's power sector emissions grew about 3.7%. That represents a significant fall from the 9.7% growth witnessed last year. Essentially, India prevented the release of an additional 11 million tonnes of CO2 in the first six months of this year. This shows that India's push for cleaner energy sources is beginning to have an impact.